Hey guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to perhaps the most random collection day ever. Earlier this year, I teased about getting a third car for the channel and I came very close to buying a Hyundai i20N. This is clearly not an i20N, it's probably about twice the size. Everything will become clear very soon, but I bought this particular car for one particular reason. Now you're probably thinking, what a surprise, Joe has ended up buying another BMW. I'm actually down here at Berry BMW in Chiswick picking this car, which is a used purchase, not a new purchase. Before we unveil the car, I just wanna say a massive shout out and thanks to Adrian Flux Car Insurance, who cover my M2 and my M3 on the road and on track, and they've insured this absolute weapon. There's a link to Adrian Flux Insurance below in the description, so make sure you hit them up for your next car insurance, whether it's for the road or for the track. As most of you know, I do a lot of business with Barry BMW, buy a lot of cars off Tony Lewis. But today I'm actually buying this off Hamza, who I've known for many years, used to be part of the M140i gang, and uh, has actually handed over a couple of cars to me in the past. How's it going, mate? Not bad, not bad. This is definitely the most random purchase you've ever made. I think, I think it might be. I'm, I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Um, and even speaking to you about the sale, which was by complete coincidence, by the way, um, I was looking online. I wanted one of these as an approved car, so I've got warranty, breakdown, etc. And I went onto the use, you know, the, the sort of general used network of BMW and saw what was out there. And this was actually the first one that sort of sprung to mind and was the best value. I haven't been to Chiswick for, for a while, actually. There's a lovely Z8 over there. And there's a very familiar M2 CS over there, which is uh, very special. But yeah, today's purchase is not really along those lines, is it? It's, not, no. it's, it's neither a uh, V8 convertible, uh, 20 year old, or a uh, bang up to date M2 CS. It's something very different. But as I say, there is a reason for it, and I am going to drag out a little bit, but it's very interesting. It's scientific, um, if you like. Right, let's, um, let's, let's get it uncovered, Hamza. So, let's hope this works. Oh! No way. No way. That has to be one of the best unveils <laughs> ever. There's nobody in there. Absolutely no one in there. Hams has just done that with, it's actually steering its way around the table that the camera's on. Yeah. So you've done that with? The remote parking feature. Display key. Which is probably the only option on this car. It probably <laughs> is, yeah. What is this? What have I just picked up? You just bought a 730D SE. I told you it was random, really, really random, but I'm very excited about it. And there is a reason behind it. So. Um, I think what we'll do is, because it's a beautiful day, we'll take it outside and we'll have a quick look around it and then get it on the road and take it home. Hamza, as always, absolute Thank pleasure. You, this guy's a legend. Um, I'll put his details in the description below. So if you ever need a, uh, well, used or new vehicle from Barry, hit him up. There's plenty of lovely, mostly used cars in here. Thank you, Hamza. Let's go outside and check out my new, but not so new wheels. Now we're outside in the sunshine, let's have a closer look at my new used purchase. It's a 2016 730D SE. It's in Sophisto Grey, which just happens to be the same color that I got my very first 7 Series in when I started chauffeuring well, almost 10 years ago. And while we're talking about that, I'm not buying this to get back into chauffeuring. This is a standard wheelbase and you would only ever use the long wheelbase for chauffeuring, but it's a G11. So it's the most current uh, seven series before the new one comes out sometime in the next 12 months or so. But this is the pre-facelift, so it doesn't have the massive grills in the front, but it does have the incredible N57 three liter inline six turbo diesel under the bonnet. I think BMW claim this SE spec car will do about 60 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle. And I know that you can get at least that out of these. 265 horsepower and 620 newton meters of torque. So it's a mighty amount of torque. I absolutely love the 30D unit. As many of you know, I think it's one of the all time great engines. 
and in fact that's part of the reason why I purchased this car. The rest will become uh, more obvious a little bit down the track. I'm not going to drag this out for too long but I don't want to ruin uh, what I'm doing with this car on the day that I pick it up. Um, yeah I'm really excited about it and obviously I've invested well just over 25 grand of my own cash uh, into a video idea and while we're on that subject uh, I will be selling this car uh, sometime mid or end of June once I've done what I need to do with it. 42,000 miles, one owner from new, full BMW um, service history. The next service isn't due for another year. New tyres, although they're Bridgestones. So, yep, you've guessed it. They will be changing um, in the not too distant future. Uh, but yeah, really nice, clean spec. And I know most people, including myself, if I was chauffeuring it, I'd want the M Sport trim. I'd want it to look a bit sportier. Um, but this is in its most comfortable trim, if you like, and its most efficient trim. First thing that stands out are these 18 inch alloy wheels, which in isolation aren't that small, but on a seven series, well, they don't look particularly big, but that means smaller tires and uh, less rolling resistance, essentially. So really efficient running. And although they're small, I quite like the simple design on them. Around the front, well, we've got uh, LED lights. I don't believe they're adaptive. Um, and actually, in terms of options that this particular car has fitted to it, uh, let me see if I can remember. There's not many. <laughs> uh, soft closed doors, because they're not standard on the standard wheelbase. Uh, sun protection glass. Um, parking professional assist or whatever, which we've already demonstrated, so you can park it with the key. Um, and ambient air. It also has comfort rear seats, which we'll look at very soon. I think that's all of the options, so there's not many, but remember, it's a seven series, so it comes with a lot of equipment standard, even by today's standards, because this car is approaching six years old. In fact, I think it turns six in May, so it's not far away from its sixth birthday, but that doesn't matter to me because I purchased it approved, so it has 12 months of BMW warranty, so I don't need to worry about any of that. Because it's an SE, it has all of this chrome trim, uh, which I actually really like again. Um, when I was younger, I liked things all blacked out and de-chrome, but I think the chrome trim really suits the 7 Series. Um, it's very rare seeing a standard wheelbase 7, because the long wheelbase with the rear doors are a lot longer, and obviously I'm very familiar with those. Uh, walking around the back end, well, I think it's a really pretty car from around the back. Very simple, lovely uh, exhaust outlets. Just a really clean design. There are a couple of marks in it, so we've got um, a chip here, got a slight surface scratch there, but that will polish out. Uh, the chip I'll just need to retouch a little bit. Um, but in terms of damage, that's kind of just about it though. The trims around here have lost a bit of color, as you can probably see. Um, so I'll see if I can source some of them, but that's because it's six years old and I'm sure when it's been cleaned, uh, they've been sprayed. But in terms of the actual paintwork itself, well, I was expecting to see lots of swirls and everything on the paint, but it all looks pretty clean, to be fair, um, especially out in this sunshine. I love this Sophisto Grey ceramic paint. It looks really, really good. Um, let's jump inside now. We've had a good look around the outside of the car. Uh, so, opening this. Da -da. Okay, let's just kill those lights, put them on water. So, uh, black merino leather interior. Um, some of the most comfortable seats on the planet. Massively adjustable memory seats. All standard, this is all standard 7 Series affair. In fact, well you can see there's quite a few scuff marks on there, but <laughs> most of these haven't even had the blue tape peeled off them. And when we get into the back, well I don't think anyone's ever sat in the back before. Um, this has obviously belonged to a couple, um, but in terms of the layout, well, we've got I drive six in here, I believe. Um, so we'll just fire this all up. So I drive six. Uh, we've got semi analog dials, so they are kind of digital, but we've still got some 3D metalwork going on there. I really like 
um, this setup. BMW had this sort of 2010 to about 2016 when this car was born. Um, then they phased them out to a full digital. But I really like that layout because when it's all off, you're just left with the actual um, chrome bits. I think it looks really good. Um, this is the original 7 Series wheel for the G11, uh, which is this uh, model. Um, they actually changed it 2017. They updated the wheel pretty quickly. Not sure why. Um, this is really nice. Obviously, it needs a bit of a clean. I'll give this car a bit of a deep clean when I get it home. Um, but the actual interior is really, really nice. Uh, we've got wood in here, which is obviously standard again in the 7 Series. Normally in a three or five, I wouldn't particularly like it, but in this, it's really nice. We've got ambient lighting, obviously lots of colors. We've got ambient air. Um, we've got everything you need. I think we've even got a wireless charging bay down there. Um, yeah, it's all super, super familiar and just a really nice place to sit. I mean, this seat is unreal. Um, and it is surreal being back in a seven series again, because it almost feels like I am getting back into chauffeuring. And although the car that I handed back to BMW Finance last year was the brand new um, G11 facelift car, uh, well, this car still feels very similar, which it is obviously. Um, it just doesn't have the very latest side drive and slightly different wheel, etc. There's no head up display in here either. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. Let's just have a quick jump in the back and uh, see what's going on in there and then we'll get it out on the road because it's pretty warm outside. So I want to jump in here with the aircon on. So you open the back and it's beautiful in here. And as you can see, I really don't think anyone has ever sat in here. I mean, the seats look brand new. <laughs> brand new as does the armrest there's a bit of dust on there um, you've got the comfort rear seats as well so they're electrically adjusted um, which is really cool and we've got four zone climate so we've got climate control down there and in fact heated rear seats i think that comes as part of the uh, comfort rear seat package um, but really nice we've got these beautiful cushions with seven um, embroidered into them so really nice place to sit let's just see if i can get in here I've got that driver's seat quite far back, but um, yeah, it's just lovely. I mean, these things are so, so comfortable. We've got a little cubby hole down here. We've got some drink holders that pop out here, um, but really lovely, luxury, beautiful place to sit. Right, let's jump in the front seat and I'll meet you in an hour's time or so once I'm a bit familiar with the car. You join me about 45 minutes into my journey on the route home. I'm sitting on the M40 motorway at the moment and I had completely forgotten how brilliant these cars are. Having a 7 Series at my disposal as my work car um, for the past nearly 10 years or so, I almost became not immune to them, but I just became used to them. I became used to the luxury, I became used to the comfort, the lack of fuss these cars give you and not having been behind the wheel of one for over a year now jumping in this it's just mind-blowing it really really is the ride quality of this especially with these 18 inch wheels and the big high profile tires i've never experienced anything like it it is just it's like a magic carpet it really is i mean these seats this air suspension and those big high profile tires it's just unreal even when you hit potholes like we just did well you can hardly hear that because it's so well insulated in here but you can hardly feel it either it's just such a lovely place there's hardly any tire roll and this is quite a coarse um, tarmac if you like on the smooth tarmac you hear nothing you've got no wind noise whatsoever in here it's just an absolute dream. Here we go, here's some smooth tarmac. Nothing. Just dead silence. It's just unreal. Even things like the controls, so the indicator, the action of it feels different to a 3 Series or 5 Series or any of the other lineup. It just feels more precise, it feels more expensive. Obviously, that's what this is. 
it's the flagship 7 series it's such a lovely lovely car and even though this one's six years on or six years old it just feels lovely in here it really is the ergonomics where my arms sort of sit on the armrest essentially and hold all, everything just fits like a glove and like you expect it to feel in your sort of ideal driving position in terms of comfort and everything else yeah really really impressed I've been averaging <laughs> wait for it 63 miles to the gallon on the way home 63 miles to the gallon now there's a couple of reasons for that number one we've already talked about the fantastic N57 which I believe is one of the most efficient cleanest best not just diesel engines combustion engines full stop unbelievable unit and just mind-blowing that is paired up to the brilliant ZF 8-speed gearbox so at 70 miles an hour we're sitting at 1300 rpm and it doesn't ever need to change down to 7th or 6th because it's got so much torque 620 newton meters of torque aside from the brilliant N57 we've also got the aerodynamics of this car its coefficient is really low um, and it slips through the air like not many other cars out there so there's no drag or little drag um, especially at speed sort of below 70 miles an hour uh, but the third reason which is possibly the most surprising statistic of this car at least to me anyway is this 7 series weighs 1755 kilos right <laughs> that's 30 kilos less than my m3 competition x drive 30 kilos less than that car this is like 5.1 meters long or something and the reason for that is the g11 and the g12 7 series well they've got a carbon core so a lot of the actual let's say chassis or shell is made up of carbon composites so it really does not weigh that much at all so when you combine one of the most efficient and amazing engines ever built with the aerodynamics of this car and the fact that it's relatively lightweight well it's super 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 efficient I'm really excited about taking you lot along on the journey whilst I have this car as I say I'm not planning on having it long two and a half three months max and then it will be for sale so if anyone is interested like I said earlier on please do let me know no time wasters and I'm not going to be selling it for like 20 grand um, offers close to 25 grand and trust me it's worth every single penny of that um, yeah please let me know massive thanks to Hamza at uh, BMW Berry in Chiswick his details will be below and a huge thanks once again to Adrian Flux Car Insurance. Um, without those guys' help, I would really struggle to you know, pay for all of my car's insurance, especially track days and stuff. Um, and the fact that they insure all three of my cars, all three of my cars, I never thought I'd say that. Although this is short term, I can't afford to keep this long term. <laughs> So, yeah, as it stands, they insure all three of my cars. So, massive thanks to Adrian Flux Car Insurance. Please make sure you do hit them up using the link below um, for your next car insurance quote. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there and cruise on home. Such a nice place to cruise in. <laughs> it really is. I'm really happy with this car. Um, I hope it comes across a video. It's not the sort of thing I would have been excited about years ago because I always had a 7 um, and especially in this SE spec but actually this is as we talked about just so comfortable and so pleasant and a lot of that has to do with the fact that it is the SE spec um, it's just really nice yeah really 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 lovely bit of kit so yeah over the moon thanks a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed this random car collection I'll see you guys at another video very, very soon. Cheers.